YouTubers, Captain Kenny here. We're going to do a modification to our flatbed. We're going to add a pickup hoist that I picked up over at Harbor Freight. It's designed to lift anywhere from 500 to 1,000 pounds. I've got a big job coming up and I don't feel like lifting my generator and my cement mixer up in the back of this truck. It's fairly high for a flatbed, so y'all stay tuned and watch how I install it. So here's the decision. Do I mount it on one of the back corners or do I mount it up by the cab? I don't know yet. I'm gonna set it up in both spots. I kind of want it back here in the back because it'd be more practical to swing stuff back onto the back of the truck. Up by the headache rack, I could only load stuff into the middle of the uh, truck. Okay, I decided I'm going to mount it up by the headache rack on the driver's side. There is a support brace underneath the bed, which two of the bolts will go through, and on the other two bolts, I'll just put this mounting plate, since this is 8 inch diamond plate, that should be suffice. I'm not going to be lifting much over a thousand pounds, hopefully. So it's going to go right over here, right in this location just like that. That way the end of it can swing. It's got a uh, one and a half inch. Looks like it used to be a ladder rack that has been cut off, so I can't really put it into the corner like I might like, like that. Because I really do need all four bolts. There's a piece of C-channel right here, so that's right in the way. So putting it right here, that'd be fine. Huh. Seem like it's so thick. Okay, we need a half inch bit. I think we'll step them three eighths and a half inch.
that will have to be sharpened. I got hardened bolts for this too. Lock nuts, washers. Got hardened washers too, a little bit of overkill, but I don't want the washers to bend or get sucked through or regular nylon lock nuts. Sorry about the wind, but uh, it's 101 degrees today. It's supposed to get to 102, so that fan has to be on. $13 were the bolts. We're gonna pre-drill these, then we'll put a fresh coat of paint on there. Square it up. Right at six inches. That one needs to be sharpened.
This is a drill doctor. Drill doctor. Damn, that's pretty thick. That's over a half inch deep. See that drill doctor? It made short work of a half inch deep. Of course, this is probably all soft plate steel. I think I have to get a pair of channel on. Drill's getting a little bit hot.
one at one. So we just rotate it. One left. I know everyone's saying, hey, you're using a, an all scratch all to uh, All four are in. Take this nut off. Set this out of the way for a second. We'll paint the whole bed of the truck later. I left a bunch of sand on here for about six months and it destroyed my paint, so I need to actually get this brick off here and uh, give it another coat of paint. Let me go dump this in trash. But Threw it away yesterday, but you know what? It'll go what this needs to be done. Extra thick.
probably should let that uh, rest, but you know what? Ain't gonna happen. Jack pipe towards the inside. get a washer on this other one. We'll try. Nope. Cut this off. Right angle grinder to cut that. Okay. That fits. I'm gonna paint the end of it black. Paint it black. Don't fit, get a bigger hammer.
look at those freaking rounded off sockets. Don't ever buy Huskies. If you ever have to do this with Chinese bolts, you're going to be lucky to get them tight. See? That wouldn't happen with snap on. Okay. Hey, these are the bolts to bolt it down, but I got heavier ones. Okay. So we got Allen head screws to bolt this down. We're going to put some Loctite on them. Looks like there's two different sizes of lock washers. Make sure you get the right one. Lock tight. We don't want them coming out, ever. Unless we gotta put a new one on. But riding in the back of the truck, I don't want it to jingle loose. Huh. Huh. Something ain't right. That has to be. Rotated 180 degrees like that because this goes over the top like that. Two bolts back here, one up here, but I swear. Those Chinese can't bolt nothing together right. Probably made the U.S. I sure like the crank on this right side. I think I'm going to see if I can switch it around. Archer. Nice that this Allen wrench was about a quarter of an inch shorter.
That is torque down. Lock tight on that because uh, everything on this truck's going to get rattled. Okay, I didn't realize the camera had stopped, but one last thing you have to do. Put the little jack on there and once the jacks on there put the pins through there with some cotter pins Lock it in place then it's ready to be installed It's pretty heavy I think weighs about 85 pounds at least to lock it right here so you can lock it in place but that was the very first thing that fell apart on it was that pin so what I'm going to do I'm just going to hook it on the side of the bed hook it, and just leave it locked down like that It sure saves my back. I lifted a 500 pound file cabinet. Kind of tilted the truck a little bit, but it got it on the back of there by myself, 500 pounds. The top of this bed's uh, pushing almost four feet high. It'd be next to impossible to load something like that by yourself. But yeah, I've been wanting one of these for a long time. It's well worth the money. I got a good deal on it. Harbor Freight. Check it out. Thanks for watching. This is Captain Kenny signing off.